Harry doesn't live with Meg. Neighbor confirms has, Meg always fight as she spends money like water. A royal biographer has claimed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are stuck with their Netflix and book deals as the couple need money more than ever. British author Tom Bower appeared on GB News' Dan Wooden Tonight, available to stream on Flash, where he discussed the Netflix series The Crown, which is set to depict Prince Philip cheating on the late Queen Elizabeth, just weeks after her funeral. The writer weighed in on whether the Duke and Duchess of Sussex lost their dignity for standing by the streaming giant. They need the money and they need it now more than ever, he told the program. They got no other source of income so I think they are stuck with the devil now. They're tied to Netflix, they're tied to their book and all the criticism they're going to take means nothing because that's the only way they can earn their money. The royal expert also shared his thoughts about biographer Tina Brown's wisecrack about the pair at the Henley Literary Festival in the UK. Speaking of the Sussexes' California life, Brown told the crowd, it's not very pleasant to be a D-list celebrity who, for them, doesn't have enough money. It's a wholly different game to be with those super-rich people. In Montecito, where they live, their $14 million mansion is a humble cottage compared to what these other people have. Yes, and at some point, it might be more than a new house she's looking for, the journalist then joked, adding, Elon Musk is still single, that's all I have to say. Bauer agreed with Brown and claimed the former Suits actress is money obsessed. That is why she married Prince Harry. A great surprising disappointment was to discover that Prince Harry had very little money, Bauer said. She imagined he'd be worth hundreds of millions if not billions. She's having to make up for it now. I don't see how the Sussexes can give up both the Netflix and book deal. They won't be living in their Montecito cottage, more likely living somewhere in downtown LA in a little hovel. That's their problem, they're stuck now. Bauer went on to predict that the only way Harry could exit his deals is if his father King Charles bails him out. Somehow he would have to pay off Netflix, he would have to pay off Random House his publishers. That would cost millions of dollars or pounds, he said. Charles might give that to him in return for a signed agreement never to knock the royal family again. That's the only thing I can imagine that would end this confrontation. But I can't see Meghan signing that deal. Meghan has got no interest whatsoever in giving away being silent. She wants the battle. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are reportedly in dire need of the Duke of Sussex's upcoming memoir to release as they are spending money like water. Royal expert Christina Garibaldi and the Daily Beast's Tom Sykes took to the Royal US podcast to weigh in on Prince Harry and Meghan's financial situation and the Prince's book, with Express UK quoting them as discussing whether the couple has a lot riding on this book. As per Sykes, I think there is and there isn't. I think, you know, in a sense for them, then, obviously, the financial element is important. They've been, as far as I can tell, they've been spending money like water. So, I think the financial element is really important. That's not going to be an issue, this book is going to earn out, in a sort of publishing parlance, he explained. Prince Harry's forthcoming memoir is slated to be published by Penguin Random House later this year after multiple delays since being announced last year in July. Since